New developments right now in the Flint water crisis. Two state workers and one Flint employee are the first to face misdemeanor and felony criminal charges for misleading federal and state officials on the safety of the water. The crisis is not over for residents of Flint who say the water is still not safe. Joining me now is Melissa Mays, a Flint resident and founder of What Are You Fighting For? Melissa, thanks so much for joining us. I want to get right to it. So the governor says that he plans to drink and cook with the water. At the same time, you recently made a video that you posted showing the water, and I think we can show it now to our audience, showing the water going into your bathtub. You're saying that there are so many fumes coming off this water. You have the window open that it burns your skin. Describe to us what the water is like now. Do you think it's safe? No, I recorded that video last Monday, I believe, and it reeks of chemicals. It burns your eyes, your nose, your throat. Um, when I take a shower, my hair falls out in handfuls. Uh, I break out in a rash. You try to cover it up, and it makes it worse. Um, and this is happening all over the city. And so we had to reach, again, outside of the state to find somebody to help us get answers. And thankfully, Mark Ruffalo and Scott Smith from Water Defense answered that cry. So the governor says that he plans to drink and cook with the water. You think his health is in jeopardy doing that? Um, no, because again, he, we don't believe him. The residents don't believe that he's going to drink only Flint water. And we don't even know the lead levels where he's at. Because even if it's filtered, if it's over 150 parts per billion, um, there's so many people that aren't safe with the filters. And again, he's not showering in it. He's not doing his laundry in it. He's not doing his dishes in it. Yeah. And no, he's not fully exposed. And 30 days is nothing. It's a slap in the face to those of us who have suffered for two years now. Melissa, to be fair, I mean, we watched the video that you posted, and the water looked clear to us. You know, I mean, I know you say that it's a, a what color is it really? I mean, this is you took the video, you posted it online. We, you know, it's been through many different iterations to get to us, but it looks clear. It's, you can see through it, but it's blue-green, and there should never be a tint or a hue to your water. And we don't know what that is. I've been told it's copper from our copper lines. I've been told it could be anything, but the biggest thing is it's been like this for over a year, and no one's been able to give me answers. So that's why yeah. Friday we're having a big press conference with Water Defense to get us those answers. What do you think about the uh, Attorney General's office announcing these felony and misdemeanor criminal charges? against some state officials. I mean, does this are are they too low in the food chain? Would you like to see people higher up charge? Is it meaningful to you? I think it's a good start. Um, it means a lot to us because it is true. What's been done to us is a crime, and we need to hear that. But I think they are low on the food chain, but I would like to know who told them what to do. They were just following yeah. orders. Well, who was it? Okay. Melissa, thank you so much. Keep us updated on your fight. Thank you. Thank